My name is uh, Professor Tissa Vijayaratna. I am a practicing neurologist and a stroke physician. And uh, we produce uh, this paper in collaboration with my co-senior author, Dr. Kamala Sales, uh, stroke neurologist, uh, and Chanit Vijayaratna, medical student uh, from Monash uh, Medical St- School. This paper address uh, a key important issue as a narrated review on non-pharmacological interventions uh, to manage uh, post-stroke depression. It is worth uh, remembering ourselves uh, that uh, this year is a historic year. Just last week uh, at uh, World Health uh, Assembly at Geneva, 75th World Health Assembly, that is World Health Organization with its all member states unanimously agreed to adopt IGAP. IGAP is basically the global action plan to combat neurological disorders, uh, encompassing prevention across the life course uh, and promoting early access uh, to treatment, uh, rehabilitation, as uh, neurological disorders are the leading cause of disability at this point of time. As uh, you are aware, one in three of us are having a neurological disorder or brain disorder at this point of time. The leading cause uh, among these uh, disorders uh, is actually stroke. As we compile this uh, video abstract uh, for our dear respectful readers, uh, it is worth uh, remembering that uh, there are well over 110 million people live with the disabling impact of stroke uh, at this point of time. I'm quoting live uh, global burden burden disease uh, data sets here. We ourselves have previously shown why depression after stroke uh, is uh, the norm rather than exception based on biological uh, uh, involvement uh, and uh, persistent uh, maladapted neuroinflammation after stroke uh, among many uh, post-stroke survivors. At the same time, it is worth remembering that 70% of strokes indeed occur in low to middle income countries where access to qualified therapists, stroke neurologists, medications are not that easy. We believe the narrated review that we generated uh, after carefully uh, the studying 40 plus uh, selected uh, papers on the basis of quality. We have shown the readers uh, the importance uh, of uh, non-pharmacological interventions to manage uh, post-stroke depression and also the important areas to work on with uh, further research. Uh, There's a plethora of opportunity and multiple PhD opportunities and other research opportunities to resolve uh, this part of the puzzle. We cover things from uh, magnetic stimulation of the brain, from dancing, physical therapy, and uh, uh, exercise programs, uh, art therapy, light therapy, to mention a few. We strongly encourage you to read our work uh, and provide us uh, with your feedback uh, as we are keen to work on this uh, and promote uh, brain health for all uh, within the next uh, 10 years, uh, which is what the Intersectoral Global Action Plan Against Epilepsy and Neurological Disorders uh, is all about. We hope uh, you like the work that we have generated uh, and we look forward to uh, 
uh, hearing and reading your feedback. Uh, take care.